Aquarius. Aquarius. What's going on with my Aquarius? Is love life. That was me. My bad. Facebook's so bad. Let me mute that for a sec. Okay. What's going on with Aquarius's single and situation ship spread? Let's see what we got. Aquarius. Hmm. All right, it says here, you're letting your, you've been letting your guard down. You're feeling very, very successful right now with the six of wands on the bottom of the deck and on the bottom of that, six of cups. You've been reminiscing about someone from your past. There's no communication between you guys or anything or it's very slow moving, eight of wands under that. Okay. You've been opening up more to people around you and stuff like that, seven of wands. A lot of fire energy in this reading. You could be dealing with a Aries Leo Sagittarius. Two of swords up here, you may be facing some kind of indecision in your life between two or, it's mainly two options, right? And your emotions are involved in the situation with the moon being there, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, look, I'm seeing purely sword, swords and wands, okay? And a magician in reverse. So you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini, Libra or another Aquarius right now and you seem to be in your head about this decision. You have two choices. You're not make, choosing anything. Nine of Wands in reverse. You're really giving up on a situation. You've invested in so, so much for so long. Something you were really passionate about. But you're giving up, man. You're giving up and you're going to be seeing what's out there. And you don't really feel like you've wasted your time or anything. But I mean, you did. But it was something you liked. So you didn't mind giving into something right with the page of swords in reverse it seems like you're cutting off contact with someone you're not looking them up you're not even trying to find out anything about them you're not looking at their pics you're not checking your phone anything you're so detached from this person or this person's message or this person's information and with the magician in reverse i think that it could be a sign that you're not getting what you wanted lately. Like you're not able to manifest either due to blockages or maybe you're going in another direction <clears throat> that, uh, I don't know, you feel is more beneficial, but your life isn't moving forward apparently with the magician uh, in reverse there, you know? Okay, clarify the seven of wands. What's going on in my Aquarius's love life? Clarify the seven of wands. Let me get three cards, please. Uh huh. You want to get out of this resting energy with the four swords reverse. On the bottom of the deck, you got the star reverse. You feel like you don't care about destiny or your soulmate right now. You're blocking off your soulmate because you have a lot of options. Queen of Wands reverse. Either you or this person you're dealing with is very unreliable or you're trying to be unreliable or you think that of someone or they think that of you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe you think a fire sign is unreliable. Um... Seven of Cups, you have many, many options, or it could be a water sign. You have many options that none of them are looking better than the other. They both look equally promising and equally unpromising. It's like you could live without them, but you have the choices. Make any sense? All right, with the star in reverse on the bottom and you have four of cups, you are not interested in all these options. One in particular seems to be on your mind and you're still disinterested in it. And it feels like the, the person is just in your face about it. Like the universe is just giving you the cup and you're just not even caring really. And you don't want to send any messages out with the page of cups in reverse. All right, let's see. What's going on with this two of swords? Can you tell me about this decision that my Aquarius is facing right now? Can you tell me something about this Two of Swords? The Hermit. 
you feel very wise after a segment of depression. Um, you feel spiritually enlightened and spiritually inclined. You're keeping to yourself. You don't really want to party or anything like that or too much anyway, I should say. Cut King of Swords Reverse is a sign that you feel that you're not thinking straight. Or maybe you're being too emotional at this point in time and you're not your logical self right now. You're not in your logical masculine energy. Remember, energies are fluid. We both have feminine and masculine energy in all of us, right? And how well you balance that will determine your magnetic ability to attract abundance, to attract love, whatever it is that you seek, right? Now, you have been disregarding your intuition as of late. And this is a very big key factor in magician being reversed. If you do not listen to your intuition, your manifesting ability gets like cut in half, maybe even three fourths gets cut. So you gotta like, try to listen to your inner voice, but obviously you have to nourish your inner voice first before it becomes a voice worthy of listening to. And you can do this like by increasing your self-control little by little, you'll start to get better advices from your inner voice. If you feed your heart crap, your inner voice will also be toxic or crap right so you have to take care of your inner voice you have to nourish your intuition otherwise it can't give you the best ideas that are already a part of you if that makes any sense for you um king of wands on the bottom hmm about what was that decision yeah you definitely have like a fire sign in your life right now aries eel sagittarius you think they look good but you think they're a player you think that they're untrustworthy even upright the king of wands is untrustworthy so what does that tell you? Man, it could tell you a lot. Tell me about this nine of wands in reverse. What is Aquarius trying to give up on or thinking to give up on? Ooh, there you go. Three cards right there. You saw how that fell out? You're thinking of giving up on something that makes you feel embarrassed. Something that makes you feel unsuccessful. Something that stresses you out, actually. You have the Six of Swords reverse, the Six of Wands reverse, and the Empress upright. You feel like it's actually, you're in your power to do this. You're in your power to give it up. It's almost as if you feel like, yo, dumping this person or this situation is what will get you back your fertility. It was what will get you back to your queen status. The Empress is the queen of all queens. You're stepping back in your power after giving up this burden that you once desired a lot. Okay, Page of Swords Reverse. Let's find out why you're not stalking anybody. Everyone is reading, oh, we're finding out who's stalking who. Let's see why you're not stalking anyone. <laughs> Your life must be so great, huh? <laughs> I love it, I love it. Four of Cups. Oh, because you're not interested in anyone. You're not even interested right now. You don't give a shit. That's why you're not checking your fucking... You're not even checking your social media, really. That's what Page of Swords Reverse means. You're not even checking it. The Sun Reverse. You... You're not checking these options? Because they all rob your happiness. The Sun in Reverse. You're not... Four of Cups, why? Because of the Sun in Reverse. And because of this King of Pentacles. You're not checking your phone because you don't need to. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's an Earth Energy... Sorry about that. I meant this... There's an earth energy in here, right? That you have the two of cups for. Someone loves you and you love them. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. However, there is mutual love in your life with this King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is someone stable who has wealth that isn't going away. It's wealth that he earned on his own. And it was something slow growing and is also slow leaving. So it's very stable energy. You hit the jackpot, Aquarius. Oh, one more thing. The magician though, right? We still gotta find out about this magician. Tell me why the magician is in reverse. What is stopping Aquarius's manifesting ability? What is stopping Aquarius's manifesting ability? Why is the magician in reverse? Tell me. Why is the magician in reverse? 
Why is the magician in reverse? The two cards. Because you're doing whatever it takes to get out of heartbreak. And by the way, you also got the Queen of Pentacles there. Because after you left the situation, you're coming out of a heartbreak. You're not making any other decisions. Maybe you've made the choice already to go towards this King of Pentacles or maybe you're with them already because you're showing up also as the Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Cups on the bottom. Yeah. Eight of Cups on the bottom, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You're done waiting for something to get better and you're going towards someone who is a good match for you here. It could be your soulmate. Even though you said the star reverse then. But it seems... Okay. If this person is actually good for her, why, why is... The, or him or her... Why is the magician in reverse though still? It should be getting better if you're if you're getting on a higher vibration, right? Magician won't be reverse. So I have to ask one more question for you here. Is this relationship stopping her manifesting ability? Their manifesting ability? Is the magician stopping their manifesting ability? Like not the magician, sorry. Is the king of pentacles stopping the magician? No. But it's the world, so it's not a yes or a no, but the world in reverse. It seems like your world has stopped because of this person. We gotta ask something beyond that, man. Why, why does Aquarius think that? Why does Aquarius think that? Because the person took them out of the cold or out of a bad situation. Whoa, that's deep. But if you wanna get deeper than that, check out the description box. Later, Aquarius.